Hello. So in this video, we are going to go over Fourier series. And the Fourier series is really a general procedure to find the spectrum of periodic signals by adding harmonically related sinusoids. So remember, we are interested in two problems. In, 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 in this case, right? The problems, one of them is the problem of analysis. And the other one is the, I'm talking in the context of a spectrum. And the other one is the problem of synthesis. What is the problem of analysis? Giving a signal for which we have a mathematical equation, later in the course, in other videos, we are going to see well, most signals, most real signals anyway, we cannot express mathematically, right? And so we are going to develop the digital Fourier transform and the fast Fourier transform as a fast algorithm to compute it, to find the spectrum and create actual practical spectrum analyzers that you can implement in your computer, in your DSP processor, in your spectrum analyzer. But Fourier was trying to solve the problem of creating a mathematical spectrum analyzer, meaning if you have an equation for a continuous time signal, x of t, what are the AKs, really the set of amplitudes, complex amplitudes, meaning amplitude and phases, corresponding to the frequencies in the line spectra. And the problem of synthesis is the other one is, if you have the AKs, how do you create your signal, reconstruct the signal, right? So the Fourier series equation, which remember it is for periodic signals, we go with X of T, AK e to the J uh, 2 pi FKT K from minus infinity to infinity. This was more general than the Fourier series because there, we didn't impose any constraints on these frequencies. Right? So they work for any signal that has a line spectra, periodic or quasi-periodic signals. In the Fourier series, we said, well, if it is periodic, if periodic x of t, if this mathematical equation satisfies x of t repeats is equal to x of t plus some period, then this simplifies to a k e to the j 2 pi. The frequencies are not all independent of each other, but they are harmonically related. So we are going to say k times F0, T, K from minus infinity to infinity, or if you want, you can put this in terms of the period. One over T0, KT, K from minus infinity to infinity. Okay, and so sometimes you will see it, as a k e to the j 2 pi over t0 times kt. Really, I typically just work with a more general expression, and then I know if the signal is periodic, they are all harmonically related. But, but this is how typically you're going to see the Fourier series for the problem of synthesis. If we were to have a case, meaning the complex amplitudes corresponding to the particular frequencies, we are able to synthesize the signal. Well, that's very well, but for that we need to find these complex amplitudes and the integer multiples of the fundamental. 
and that's the, the, the analytical spectrum analyzer. Okay, so analysis. AK is given by 1 over T0 integral 0 to T0 X of T E to the minus J 2 pi T0 KT. This is really, you're going to see later on, it's just the Fourier transform evaluated over one period and plugging in instead of omega, plugging in the omega case, the harmonically related frequencies. We will see that later on. And so eventually, for continuous time signals, we will just always use the Fourier transform eventually. But this is your spectrum analyzer, right here. Let's go a little bit over it. You plug in your signaling, and the output is the amplitudes of the different spectrum lines. Okay, some of them may be zero. There's no, no frequency at this component. Others may have a particular amplitude. So it is just this integral that for any signal for which you have a mathematical expression, you need to have a mathematical expression, and that the signal meets the periodicity. There is some repetition into the signal. You plug it into this equation, and you get an analytical, mathematical spectrum analyzer. Now, you're going to say that, that this AK is, AK, um, for real signals, they are complex conjugates, the positives and the, and the negatives, right? So you're going to see A, K, with a minus there. And uh, we can come up with a...